In this video, I promised this particular subscriber that I'm going to make a video that shows how to exclude cells or whatever particles you want to analyze from the edges of images. And that is why I've recorded today's video. If you have any, tuto any tutorial you would like me to make, please write in the comment section. So here, before I start, is what my outlook look like. So I have these blob cells, blob image, that have some images at the edges. And you can see that if you look at blob number three, the analysis has counted the cells that were by the edges. And that's why it has been highlighted. The overlay has highlighted that. And in the video I'm going to show you, I will show you how to exclude these edges. And if it is not working, I will give you the tips on how to do this. So let's go straight to today's video. I'm going to close this image, which is the screenshot I made from my experiment. I'm going to be taking image from the image J repository and the image name is called blobs. And here we have blobs with some blood or some cells that are by the edge. And I will duplicate this by just clicking on shift control D. Now I have this blob and blob number one, exactly the same cell. To analyze this, the shortcut is just for you to go to process, go to binary and tell it to convert to mask. Now that we have this image, the same image, this is the masked image. You can see that they look similar. I'm going to divide duplicate this image a bit as well i will just go to duplicate and now we'll have blob two so you can see just in case when i finish the analysis you can see that by yourself with this the next thing i'm going to do is to find the edges of each of these cells and to do that just go to process and tell it to find edges it's going to give us a sketch you see it has drawn a sketch around each of the cells even this tiny cells even this tiny dot here where my arrow is that could be a particle it has drawn a hedge around it and you can see also here all of them are there the next thing we want to do now is to actually count this number of cells and because i just love duplicating i'm also going to be duplicating that as well so that i have a reserve kept aside while I'm doing my analysis. So with this now, we're going to be working with blob number one, that we have the edges. We'll go to analyze and click on analyze particle. If we go by the regular routes, where it will really give you the summaries, summarize, that's the total number of counts. You want to make sure that it shows overlay so that it shows colors on the images that has been counted. And then you can decide on what type of overlay you want, if you want a mask, if you want um, outlines. So you can say, let's say we choose mask and then we click OK. So it creates a new image. See, mask of blob. Those are the cells it has counted. But let me not use that. Let me choose a different one. Analyze particle. And instead of mask, I will choose overlay. Overlay is always better because it will create a colored image over your the one that's counted and now we have the cells showing that there are 63 particles in this image you can see that all the cells in this blob or all the blobs in this image all of them have the cyan color overlay you can see there's a cyan color overlay around each of the edges let's now compare this see Sorry, let me try to increase the image size. So you can see beside the one I duplicated earlier that it has counted even the edges. But because you don't want that in your analysis, it's one of the reasons why I kept this duplicate. So what I would do now is actually to duplicate that also a bit just for me to have something to work with. Okay, so this is the one where it has counted everything. How do we ensure that we exclude the edges? When you go to analyze and you click on analyze particle, it is important for you to tick the box that says exclude on edges. Sometimes this particular prompt might not work. So if that happened, just add that, just had a, a pixel limitation, maybe just add 0 0.1. If you do that, 
it the prompt should work earlier when i tried this like yesterday it didn't want to work so i, I just added 0 0.1 to the pixel and that's accepted it but now i'm leaving it as it is by the default just clicking on the exclude on edges and say okay so now you can see that the cells on the edges you can see they are gone the cells by the edges is not counting these because they are touching the edges you can see that it has excluded all those cells even this one here that one that one so you can see all the one by these edges compares to the first one where it has counted everything and now if we look at the summarize of the counts this should be less number okay it didn't show the count here so let me repeat that prompt analyze particle we want it to display uh, summarize the result sorry and say okay so then i can see it has counted that cell those cells excluding the one on the edges and now we have 45 instead of 63 that is counted for the first image that is how easy it is to exclude uh, the cells on the edges if you want to use this for your presentation and you just want to show that you didn't count the cells on the edges we can actually tell image j to provide us with a new mask of the cells that it has counted by excluding the one on the edge and to do that i will need to close this one okay let me just leave it minimize it minimize that one too let me find a new edge just to show you what i mean i'm sorry if this video is taking longer but i want you to understand what i mean so if you are going to make a new video uh, sorry <laughs> make a new analysis all you just have to go is here where you're doing your analyze particle from the overlay you can actually just tell you to provide you with the um, mask that was what i did earlier wait then exclude those ones and i can also say maybe um overlay mask and that way i'm having a color coded cells whereby it's not coloring the cells that were by the edges and that it only just colored the ones that it has counted so you can see the ones by the edges remain black white has given a different type of color to each of the cells and you can still see that our sales numbers are 45. if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel support me by subscribing I feel more motivated when you guys ask questions it helps me to go back to image j given that i finished my phd two years ago and when you guys ask questions i'm always motivated to try to find a simple answer or a simple way to go about the analysis and please share this video with people that you know will benefit from it and don't forget to keep writing to my inbox um, uh, i need to respond to three different inquiries i'll reply to you shortly thank you for watching this video and goodbye